Hi there, my name is Colin Casey and I'm the Chief Product Officer for Objective Loon. A few months ago I published a video about a proof of delivery process and because the reaction was so good, we decided to create another one for our latest accounts receivable process. For the next few minutes, I want to talk about and show how Connect technology can improve the accounts receivable process. Hopefully, I can help you see how it can address four specific issues. The first is modifying invoices. For most companies, it can take as long as seven months due to the complexities and strict change request processes that apply to ERP systems. The second is sending invoices electronically. Every year, electronic delivery becomes more and more popular, yet many companies can't make the switch. The third is to reduce the time spent on customer issues. Working with paper is a manual error prone process, resulting in companies spending huge amounts of time fixing mistakes created by themselves. And finally, lowering costs for every invoice. Chasing invoices and getting paid is a major overhead. Monitoring which payments are overdue, sending reminders, keeping track of who said what to who just to collect the money for products and services you already delivered can be very expensive. So if you're involved in any part of the accounts receivable process where collecting money efficiently is a critical part of your business, then this video might be helpful to you. OK, here you can see the accounts receivable process in a single slide. It actually involves three key users and five key steps, which might be a little hard to see. So let's break it down. The three key users are the accounts receivable user, the print room operator and the customer. And they all have access to their own user areas in an accounts receivable portal produced by Connect. So first, any customer that has been given access is able to log into view or download their invoices. They will also be able to set their own communication preferences, which will apply whenever an invoice is produced by the AR user. An invoice is produced by Connect from print data from your current line of business system without the need to make changes to it. Although Connect can work with any type of data, print data minimizes IT overheads and subsequent deployment times. Connect can apply modifications to produce improved paper-based invoices for the print room and web versions for the accounts receivable portal. It will also create metadata to provide relevant information for each specific user. Where customers have chosen to receive notifications by email or SMS, Connect will send those with links to the portal. Those customers who have selected e-invoicing will have their invoices automatically sent to a service provider who has an API for e-invoicing. We'll see more on that later. AR users will be able to log into their user area to monitor activity and to access the receivables page for tracking overdue invoices, sending reminders, suppressing paid invoices from the print queue and adding notes. Print room users will be able to log in to see the documents that need to be printed. Invoices with associated delivery notes will be grouped into sets ready for batch printing, whereas invoices without delivery notes will be put into an exceptions batch. Reminders where the customer chose the print channel will also be included. So hopefully this all makes sense. So let's get to the demo. As mentioned earlier, this demo has three specific user types and we're going to look at them all, starting with the customer, then the AI user, and finally the print operator. So as a customer, I need to log in. Now I'm logged in, I can see the invoices, preferences, and logout options on the top right. When I select the invoices option, I can see two invoices that have been produced already and I can view them simply by clicking on them. The portal invoices are generated in HTML, but I can also download them in PDF if I need to. OK, so when I select preferences, you can see the options currently set up. Print means I expect to receive a hard copy in the post, while email means I expect to get email notifications. If I check my inbox, I can see two emails, one for each invoice produced so far. If I click on the link inside the email, then I'll be redirected to the customer portal to log in and view it. So let's take a look. Now, as a customer, I might want to enable text notification. So I'm going to check the SMS box and add my mobile number. Now, if we jump forward in time, perhaps after a few more purchases, then I would expect and can see two more invoices in my portal. 
I also have two more emails in my inbox. And now, because I enabled SMS messaging, I have two text messages on my mobile phone with links that I can use to view my invoices. Again, I need to log in, but notice how the portal and the invoices are adaptive and responsive. Finally, I could enable e-invoicing or EDI and then enter my DUNS or trading partner number and by doing this, Connect can send my invoices electronically to any third party who has an API. So now that we've seen how customers can control their own communication preferences and view their invoices online, let's switch to the AR user and take a look at their experience. What you see here is our retro line of business emulator. We're showing this to prove that the whole process can start from the point of print. I've already logged in as an LOB user. So first, I want to select some invoices and print them. I could use the search feature to find invoices for a specific date, company, or even amount, or click on the column headings to sort them. But I'm just going to print the first 12 invoices from pages one and two. Next up, we need to look at the activity page. As you can see, it allows me to see all invoices that have been printed from the line of business system along with the customer selected channels. Blue circles show that a channel is active and in progress. Orange represents a job that has been queued but not completed. The hollow green circle means an e-invoice was sent to a third party pending a response. And a solid green circle means that the invoices have been processed. Of course, there are times when something can fail or be invalid, so we have icons for those statuses too. Like the LOB emulator, we can sort, search, and jump pages to find specific invoices. The receivable page is where all of the real work happens. Before I get to the details, I need to explain that the due dates on this demo are simulated. In reality, the dates would be updated from a printed age data report. Any invoice not on that age data report could be automatically deleted on the basis that it will no longer be due. Anyway, let's take a closer look, starting with the all button and the smiley and not so smiley faces. The all button will show all of the invoices. The green smiley face will show invoices that are not yet due. The light orange button and slightly surprised face will show invoices overdue between one and 30 days. The dark orange button and some would say grumpy face represent those invoices that are between 31 and 60 days overdue. Finally, the red angry face will show all of those invoices that are 61 days or more overdue. Basically, the buttons will allow you to focus on the most important invoices that you need. Like the activity page, there's a search button. Simply enter the string to match and click search and the page will be updated showing just those invoices. OK, so now you know how to find an invoice. Let's see what we can do with it. First, we can check the box on the right and then send a reminder by clicking on the send reminder button. The customer will get a reminder based on their selected channel and this screen will show if a previous reminder has been sent. Each reminder up to three levels can have a harsher tone and contain a link to the customer portal to ensure that the customer goes there. You may also notice the text below each invoice number. It will show if and when the client last viewed the invoice. We track any login activity and clicks on a specific invoice. So if a customer has viewed one, this screen will show when it happened. By clicking on a specific invoice, it's possible to add notes that the user cannot see. These notes are available to any other AR user, so it allows multiple people to work on them consistently. When a note is added, a small icon will be displayed next to the invoice number. In the event that an invoice is paid, it's possible to mark it as paid and to remove it from the list. This action will also remove it from any queued jobs. Just check the box on the right and click the Mark Paid button. So before we leave the AR user, let's take another look at the activity page. Although we haven't produced any new invoices, we can see several collection letters and the channels by which they will be sent. Normally, the print user will have their own login, but for this demo, we've allowed the AR user to act as the print user, which is why you can see the print queue link. 
When we look at the page, we can see jobs that have been produced. The print operator can select one or more of them and create print output that will be batch. For the demo, we're producing PDFs. Before I do that, notice that the invoice batch with five documents only has four delivery notes. Again, this is simulated for the demo, but it demonstrates that we can choose to treat those invoices without the delivery notes as exceptions. So let's print everything by selecting them all and clicking the print button. We can see an exception and batch job. If we look at the exception job, it shows the invoices that didn't have a delivery note and the reminders for the customer that I marked as paid after the reminders were sent by email, but before they were printed. It makes no sense to send reminders by post when the customer already paid. If I look at the activity screen, I can see that some invoices and collection letters are flagged as invalid, which means they were removed from the print job. The second job is a batch of pages with invoices and their corresponding delivery notes, along with any collection letters, all sorted and grouped using data matrix codes into customer order, ready for batch printing. So now you've seen the accounts receivable demo in action, there's one more thing I want to show, but if you're not interested in e-invoicing, you can skip this part. Okay. You may recall that for e-invoicing, I mentioned that Connect can send invoices to a service provider using their APIs. In this demo, I'm using Thai Kinetics. We call them Thai. They have their own portal that allows the AI user to view any invoices sent. Connect uses Thai's API to post those invoices using the digital address for a specific customer as defined in the customer preferences. Ty takes care of the final delivery of a suitable e-invoicing file, which the customer can import into their specific system. If that system is cloud-based, then Ty will use that system's API to deliver the transaction over the internet. So if I log in, I can see a number of things to help me manage any issues that may arise during the e-invoicing process. It should be noted that this demo is showing a limited view, more advanced functions are available. Here is a simple view showing transactions per month. Green means successful, amber means modified, and red means failed. In the document view, I can see more information on each invoice. If I look at a successful invoice, I can view the files. I can look at the source data, the data that connects sent. I can see the process data, the information that Ty extracted from the source data, and I can view the final data, which was sent to the customer. I can also create filters to view specific types of data. I've set one up called last seven days, which shows just that. Finally, in the report section, I can create and run reports to view or export any data I need. Here, I'm showing documents process from one date to another, and I can see the ones that have passed and the ones that have failed. I can also export the result to Excel. So what you've been watching is one example of an accounts receivable process created with Connect Technology. We created this demo to help you visualize and understand how we can help solve four key issues, modifying invoices from an ERP system with minimal IT overhead sending invoices electronically, reducing the time spent on customer issues, and lowering the cost per invoice. So now I'm done, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this and hope you feel inspired to learn more. If you do, visit www.olconnect.com slash accounts receivable.